Once the device has been powered down, you can begin to remove the battery by pressing the lowermost button on the left side of the device. This will begin to unseat the battery and the charge port, though you'll need to pull on this bottom gray piece here to remove the battery and charge port completely. You'll then need to remove the SIM card and tray before proceeding. Flipping the phone upside down, you should now see two visible Phillips screws, which will need to be removed. With those two screws removed, you can begin to remove the screen itself by prying in between the housing and the screen at the bottom of the phone. Once you're able to unseat the bottom portion of the screen, you'll want to work your way up towards the top of the phone on both sides of the device. After that's done, it should be pretty easy to pop off the back housing. With the back housing now off, you can begin to remove the motherboard. To begin removing the board, start by first unclipping the flex for the primary back camera, as well as the flex for the display. The front camera can be unclipped and removed at this time as well. There will then be six total Phillips screws located throughout the board, which you'll need to remove. Once all of these screws are removed, you can then begin to carefully lift the board out of the midframe. The primary back camera can then be removed by carefully prying underneath the flex until the camera pops out of place. To begin reassemble, you'll first need to lay the primary back camera into its spot and then fold the flex cable for it out of the way so that the board can be laid back in. Once the board is laying in, the six Phillips screws that we took out earlier can be replaced. After all of the screws are replaced, the primary back camera can be plugged back in as well as the display and the front camera. The back housing can then be reattached by inserting the top first and working your way down towards the bottom. Once all of the clips on the housing seem to be reattached to the phone, the bottom two Phillips screws can be replaced as well. The battery and charge port assembly can now be slid back into the phone as well as the SIM card and tray, finishing the repair. 